200-day moving average in the Dow. So we've got to be right there at a major when breakout we are, point. We're over that point. Now, as far as getting in, if you're in already, fine. If you never got out, fine. You had some pain in December. If you want a confirmation to get in that's going to take it right up to the highs, well, we're not there yet. Now, if you're looking at the 200 period moving average, which we're bumping up against, if you're talking about resistance, here's my thoughts on that. Don't worry about that. And here's why. Because we are in an uptrend. And when you're in an uptrend, there is no resistance. Every resistance will be gone over when you're in an uptrend, just like there's no support that's going to hold when you're in a downtrend. And that's the tip of the day. And that's great advice. So if you're in, don't worry about it. Even if we pull back, we're going to get over this area that you're talking about that we're bumping up against under the 200 period moving average because we're still in an uptrend. And therefore, that's really not resistance. There really isn't any resistance. You know, you got to love uh, someone that says that's the tip of the day and great advice, right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Todd, I guess you grade your own advice, too. Good morning. My call is that we may have a rally at the tail end of 2018. So it may not be a Christmas rally, a Santa Claus rally. We might call it a New Year's, New Year's Eve rally. We literally may rally within the last one to two to three days of the year. So it could happen anytime between today and December 31st, the last trading day of the year. And here's why I think that we're gonna, we're gonna rally. Because the market really hasn't, for me, technically speaking, gone into a bearish trend. We're still holding the uptrend. It's really about control. Right now, it's, it's a tug of war between the bulls and the bears, but I'm still seeing the control on the bullish side. So if, you, if the controls had lifted and gone over to the bearish side, we'd see way more selling. Now, I know we've seen selling, but when panic selling comes in, there's no turning back. There would be no question that we would be lower. And that, to me, we're still holding. That's a good point. I'm okay with that as long as we hold a certain price support, which is not really where people are seeing where that bounce was. So for example, in the Dow, it's really, for me, a gap down in the pre-market and open under 23,000. And that support is not there. That support is actually above that. But for me, it's 23,000. 23,000, though. So you're talking about another 1,500 points. Yeah. And, but I'm not saying that we go no, there No, we're talking sure. worst case, yeah, potentially short-term worst case short scenario. But really, when you, what you said was great as far as we're stuck. It's almost like the market feels dead. Now, we've been talking about this. Are we going to have a Christmas rally? Here's my take on, here's my call for the end of the year right now because we're getting into it. I believe that the market is going to have a rally in the very tail end of the year. And what I, how I think this is all going to play out, and it literally could be like so, the last trading so day of the year. So instead of a St. Nick rally, a father time rally. It's going to be a New Year's Eve rally. New, New yes. Year's Eve rally. Yeah. You know, Scott yeah, it hasn't really seemed to affect the average consumer. People are out, they're feeling good, they're feeling good about their lives, they're feeling good about the holidays, and they're out spending money. I guess we'll see what happens come January when people get their credit card bills. But for right now, people are spending money, and they've been spending money ever since Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and all throughout the month of November. Okay, and Melissa, I, I'm actually very excited about this next question just because I love a deal. Like I'm, I'm obsessed. I most likely will try to sneak away a little bit throughout the day today because I'm working long and then go get some stuff and then come back. So where <laughs> can I get the deals today? Well, there's a lot of deals out there today. I think you really got to go online first to find out where the early doorbusters are. But make sure if you buy something at one of these doorbusters, sales look so good, and then you buy something, you're like, wait a minute, I don't really need that. Yeah. Right? <laughs> you know, you end up spending money that you don't really want to spend. But with the doorbusters, there is limited quantity for the electronics, TVs, computers. So if there is something that you want in one of those doorbuster sales that you see online, go there, go early because they have limited inventory. Okay, let's talk. Well, I guess that remains to be seen. They're going to continue to try to pump up their own economy economy, which gives signs that maybe they're not ready to make a deal yet. And that could prolong the market making new highs again. And if it runs into the summer of this year, until we make a deal, or even the fall of this year, until we get a deal done, I don't think that's going to be good for the market. I'm very bullish on the market long term, but it remains to be seen because if there is a stall, an indefinite stall in the trade talks, then it definitely is going to affect the market. But right now we're still holding the uptrend. Everyone's saying bearish, bearish, bearish. We're not. And let me explain why. 2017 was such a big Big rally and such an anomaly year that you cannot say that a 20% pullback means that it's at a downtrend because of 2017. So the fact is we are still holding the uptrend in the market. And so if people are still in, I don't think that they should panic. All right. Now.
Everyone's freaking out probably because of the reasons that you mentioned, Trish. On your show last night, you talked about it. The Democrats are taking over the House in January. So are they going to get rid of the tax cuts that are in place for corporations? Is there going to be more regulation? And not only that, are they going to attempt to impeach Trump? And I think the market is scared about that. Now, I still am bullish on the market for 2019, but you've seen a lot of selling for many, many reasons. And part of it is what you had mentioned on your show last night. I definitely think that people are either taking profits or selling out of their losers because they don't know what to anticipate with 2019. Long term, I do believe the market makes brand new all-time highs again. But we're, we're staging a late rally here. I call it a New Year's Eve rally. I thought we'd have this, but we fell off so much in the last two weeks that we're not going to even come back neutral before where we started and opened on the year, which was about 24,800 of the Dow. We were about 23,000 around today. We're, I don't, we're not going to make it in a half day. The market's right. trying. But well, I don't say buy the dips. That's that's what everybody else says. Just okay, so what do you I say? say? Buy momentum, buy the gap when you get something called a gap. Now, for those people that don't know what a gap is, I'll explain. A gap is a difference between the close and the open. The U.S. stock market closes at 4 o'clock Eastern time and opens at 9.30 in the morning. So there's post-market trading and there's pre-market trading. And buying, when buying comes in in a big way after hours or in the morning, that's what you want to look for in, in a stock. And that's where you want to buy into that momentum or you want to sell into that momentum if something gaps down. But in the case of Facebook, it would have to be just a massive gap up for me to ever be convinced that stock's going to turn around. I would definitely wouldn't buy any dip in anything right now. The market's too uncertain. And going into 2019, we're looking at all this volatility that's been happening the last really the last couple of weeks. This is like a sign. It's like a sign of what's going to happen into 2019. Two 